hi guys welcome back to our channel if you are a new viewer and or um, subscriber welcome to our unisa family and please make sure after watching this video you leave a thumbs up and you also comment down below the type of content you'd like us to create for you and also this is very important guys please 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 um hit the notification bell so that you get notified every single time when we post a video so that you don't miss out okay um so today we're going to be talking about something that's really important um that is the issue of referencing uh, particularly footnotes and the bibliography um we've seen that people are writing their assignments well you finish up and everything is there um you've made all your points and then it comes to the part where you have to start now referencing where you have to start putting the footnotes and the bibliography in the prescribed format um our presentation today our video today is going to focus on that uh, we'll show you how to do it how to insert the footnotes and how to write the bibliography in the way that the college expects us to so getting right into it we're going to start by a brief definition of what footnotes are um, i'm sure most people have seen them um, probably most people know what they are and there are people that have seen them but they have no idea if those are the footnotes um, that um, their assignments are referring to so just to give a brief definition um, footnotes are the brief notes that appear either at the bottom of each page or at the end of an article or legal text. They provide information without interrupting the flow of the argument in the article or legal text. Still moving on with the definitions, um, we now move on to what a bibliography is. Okay, um, so a bibliography is basically a list of the sources referred to in a scholarly work, uh, typically printed as an appendix. Okay, um, so now we're getting to the part where things really start um, to be interesting. Um, we've just come up with a small video to just illustrate for you guys how to actually do the footnotes um, on your PC um, for your assignment. Um, so I'm just going to start by highlighting maybe the part that I want to uh, that I want to footnote, and then you go on references on top there, and then you go where it says insert footnote. Uh, you automatically see that there's a little number a one um, that corresponds at the bottom of the page. The same number corresponds uh, with the place that where we just uh wanted where well, we just want uh, to put our footnote um so there i'm just typing in the name of the source where i got the information from in this case is the eff case um that we're quoting for this particular example um and then for that's the first footnote and then for the second footnote you just go to the at the end of the sentence again where you want to to footnote and then you repeat the same process you go on where it says under references where it says insert footnote um now uh, we're gonna put an example of a book uh, remember from your study guide i think it's on page 34 of the irm study guide it shows you how to reference books as well um we've just chosen now since this is the footnotes we're going to use the shortened version of the book um now we've used the example that is in the study guide we repeat the same process you type in the page number there at the at the end in those brackets and then you just put the name of the book in italics as well and then for the third footnote you repeat uh, the same process this time we're going to assume that we got the information from the constitution um, we're just typing in the uh, our source that is the constitution of the republic of south africa um, just uh, caps there as well for africa yeah and then just to put the page number as well uh, where we got the information from um, and then from there um, this is something that I want to show you guys. For example, let's say you then realize that you left out a point in between that you wanted to footnote. Um, don't worry, your numbers will not be mixed up because the computer automatically detects that this is within uh, the text. Um, so instead of it being number five, it becomes number three because it's inside uh, before number four. Um, so you're just uh, typing in the the, the source there as well. Um, for this, uh, we're just going to use the case as well as the example i'm um, just typing in the name there and then um the page number ah i can use 77 again let me just think of an not 17 let me think of another number as well um because i've used that before um maybe page 65 you see just like that that is how you do it um and then you see that the numbers at the bottom automatically correspond um with the numbers uh, on the bottom of the page 
okay uh now just moving on uh, now that we've shown you how to actually do the footnotes i'm just going to give a brief summary of what um of how sorry you'd you should um reference the footnotes um remember the footnotes on the part of the footnotes use the shortened version of your source uh, like i showed you in the example there uh, when we use the short version of the case and the short version of the book as well um list the page numbers in brackets at the end of your source uh, for example um s uh, versus makwanyani and another and there's a 44 there in brackets to just illustrate uh, the page number where we'd have gotten the information from and then lastly uh, just make sure that you maintain consistency throughout your work um, if you're going to use the the same source for example if it's a case uh, if it's a case summary you're obviously going to use the case a lot so just reference it the same way every time so that uh, your work is consistent okay i'm um, just moving on now to how you actually reference a bibliography um now this is different from the footnotes uh, because at this point now you use the full version um, of your source uh, it's, it's if it's a book you write the full name of the book including the authors and the title and the edition and so on i will show you at the end of this video how you actually do that and then secondly you list your sources alphabetically and then group them accordingly um if let's say they're books um you write the name that comes first on the alphabet that's the name that goes on top followed by the the second one and so on and then you group them accordingly as well you put books on top and then legislation general articles um, and so forth you shouldn't mix them for example you shouldn't write a book and then your next um, source is maybe a piece of legislation and then your next source is a general article write the books first and then you move on to the legislation and then you move on to the general articles um, and then there's no need um, for page numbers at this point there's absolutely no need for page numbers so you're not going to write the page numbers as we were doing um, on the footnotes okay um so now at this point we go to the end um of this video but i'm just going to show you now how to actually do the bibliography as you see uh, highlighted there we just put the word bibliography in bold and then after that it's books and then straight beneath that you start writing now the books um that you'd have used in your assignment so you notice that the book um that i'm highlighting now the authors start with the letter n and obviously that comes before s in the alphabet so you just basically uh, writing the name of the author and then the surname in this case there are three authors so it's the name uh, comma and the other name and then end and then i've just highlighted the the name of the book as law of delict and it's an italics um and then the i'm just highlighting the the words uh by the words Durban 1990. Uh, Butterworth is the publisher. Uh, it was published in Durban and in 1990, that's the year. So you just put that in brackets. Um, you'll notice that on the second page, uh, on the second book, sorry, um, just highlighting there where it says third edition. The only difference between the first and the second book is that the third, the second book is actually a third edition. So that comes after um, where it says uh, the law of insolvency. That is the name of the book. So that's where you add um the edition of the book and then i'm just highlighting the the name of the author um in this case it's just the one author so that's why the name is there and then the next thing is the legislation um here you write now the the, the full names of of the legislations that you have used for example the constitution of the republic of south africa 1996 it's written there in full and then the national health act 61 of 2003 as well is written in full for those that are doing irm assignment 2 you probably use this act as well and then from there you move on to the cases um you'll see that um the first of all the first one there is the tac case it's written in full as well and the subramani case um it's written in full as well and then lastly is the journal articles um what's highlighted there is the name of the author and then secondly the name of the article um in 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 in, in open inverted commas and then thus the year of 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 the journal and this the number of the journal in the series and then lastly african human rights law journal that is the name of the series 
of the journals so that's just basically how you do it um we hope this is very helpful for you guys we hope now you know how to actually uh, write a proper bibliography this brings us to the end of our video loves please make sure if you are a new viewer on our channel you like and subscribe to our content and you also comment down below the type of content you'd like us to create for you and again please go hit the notification bell so that you can get informed every single time when we post a new video so that you don't miss out lastly um please follow us on our social media handles um and please stay home and stay safe Thank you for watching.